What's up, YouTube? KJX1337 here, and we're claiming our daily rewards. 80 gems for the VIP pack. Get that on the daily. Um, new here, we got the Golden Turd Bundle, 5,000 turds. Uh, 250 giggity watts, 4,500 gems. Limit four per player. That is 50 bucks. 49.99. And I'm not about to drop that kind of cash, so pass on that. We got a research gun here. Let me check that real quick. Probably got one of them done. The other one's still got a little over three hours to go. Mm, I might check that before bed. Baseball Chris, oh yeah. Getting some research for Chris in case I decide to try him out in the deck. Um, just want to get some research done with him in general. I know he's a single, but he's a pretty good card. Um, so yeah, just doing that. Um, today for you guys, it's a uh, Sunday, so you know, good evening. A little later than normal, but uh, I saved siege for you guys. <coughs> Let's go ahead and take a look, see where we're at. Slow connection, we don't like that. Alright, here's where we're at so far. As you see, I'm up there on the drunk island. Um, and as you see, we took down their disguised island, and we almost have their armed island down. They are working on our armed island and our Futurama island. Um, we uh, have a lot more points than they do, though. Good to see how many people are participating on each side. The lots of hundreds. I like that. Okay, we have 26 so far, um, with eight of them being first, or I mean, being perfect. So that's good. And on the other side, the best so far is uh, an eight and two, and they've had 18 people play. So it's looking good for us so far. Um, better go back and make sure we have an arm deck set, uh, so we can help take down the rest of that arm dial in there. Go into deck. <clears throat> How are you guys doing this evening? I ask that like I'm... Like I'm streaming, which I'm not, obviously. Um, I don't have the time or the technology or a good enough internet connection to do so yet. That's something <clears throat> in the future I might consider. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Having to clear my throat. Um, I'm still battling this illness a little bit. I feel better, but I'm, I'm still not fully recovered. Okay, anyway, what am I doing here? Uh, we'll go to attack. Maybe that one's set for armed. I'm not sure. And it appears <clears throat> that it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. That'll work. I thought so. I thought that the last time I played, um, I was attacking armed then as well. So that's good. It saves us a little bit of time. I will have to help the wife get the children to sleep soon, so hopefully this is not a super long wow Super long video. We have people playing right now uh, We might have to build a deck anyway because there's only six attacks left on on arms. There was just 15 So we have multiple people hitting because there's no way someone did nine attacks on their own that fast Oh, we have autoplay on. Let's turn that off. Okay, we saved it just in time Start with the giggity gun And uh, so far they've dropped the skies <clears throat> and a musical card, so that's an interesting choice. Maybe they are the best cards, or maybe they did not set a deck according. So, I don't know. You'll have that happen quite a bit. 
go with the leg man there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this volume down. Um, I remember having issues. Oh, what did I do? Turn it down all the way? It seems a little too quiet. Okay, but here we go. It takes off and it gets kind of loud. Alright, so yeah, that's uh, there's a win. <laughs> I hope the volume is good for you guys. Um, I think that the video, especially if there's a point in time when I'm not talking as much, it's uh, pretty boring when I don't have any sound going on at all. But at the same time, um, I know I posted one a while back, and I, I definitely had the sound too loud. It did not appear too loud on my end. Um, but as this game is recording, it uh, got a little intense, and there were definitely parts where I could not hear myself. So I'm sure you guys uh, struggled with that as well. I'm just trying to keep the balance good. Again, basic basic recording here off the phone, so um, not much goes into this on my end. More so just having the time to do so. Um, everybody could use more time in their life, I'm sure. I know I definitely could. Um, not just for this, but for everything. Seems like days are not long enough, and uh, I will definitely not have enough lifespan to accomplish everything that is necessary. That was a pretty quick win for us. Uh, at least they played some uh, armed cards there. <clears throat> but it definitely is appearing that armed is pretty easy. And there's only two points left. Which means uh, this is going to be our last one because someone else will be playing. And they will probably hit the other point. Lead off with the Giggity Gun again. <laughs> Michael Dangelo. It's a good card. Um, I think uh, Giggity Gun should be able to take it out though. Laser Razor is always a good call. I do like these guys' guild name, though. Um, you win again, Gravity. Cracks me up. When I saw we were facing them, I don't know much about them, but I know I faced a couple of the guys in SFC, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. From what I remember... Whoever these members were, I was beating them. But going into this, I had no idea if those were their best members, their worst members, you know, somewhere mid-grade. Um, okay, Bender. Or Bobby. Just leave Michael Bangalow open there. And he can't leech. And then we make an Amy's talking tattoo. Okay, they like uh, they like the leech. Let's go ahead and drop Mythic Peggy there. Oh yeah, we win. Okay. Yeah, I was doing that wasting time on Michael Bangalore though. That wall mixed with that leech, um, plus a base stat starting out pretty good. Okay, there's our second island down. Yeah, we're doing good. Um, not quite sure where we're going third. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I don't know if there's any crucial information in there. Uh so, apologies guys, I, I don't think that my guild would mind, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, check group chat real fast, and uh, once I know if we have a plan, and if not, I'll set one for what we're going for third, then we will go ahead and make a deck, and we will attack that, so, pause that.
All right, and we're back on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Drunk next. Um, as you see, the islands are all fairly even, and I know that Drunk technically has the most uh, points left, but um, pretty educated guess that most of our people have a better Drunk deck uh, to hit their Drunk Island with than we do sports or art. So... Uh, now, actually, I don't have to build a deck for that either, since I'm defending Drunk. All we have to do is switch to that deck. Alright. So, I had to pause it again really fast. Sorry about that. Um, Todd there was going ballistic or something. I'm not really sure. Had to go handle that real fast, so. Um, yeah. Anyway, lots of distractions. Gotta love children. I do. They drive me insane, but I love them. Uh, I think I've mentioned before, we have a four-year-old and then we have a ten-month-old baby, so. Together, they're quite the handful, but they're fantastic and... Um, all I can say is I love my wife and I'm thankful, <laughs> so thankful that she helps me because uh, she is so much better with them than I am. <clears throat> anyway, Siege Defense, that is my drunk deck right now. I'll go ahead and hop back in the Siege. And let's check that. Yeah, that's still set. That's good. I should have checked that before, but it's not like they're hitting my island currently anyway. Uh, actually, I'm not sure that they're hitting anybody, any island right now. Uh, anyway, let's go see how their, uh, their drunk decks are. See how we stack up there? We did pretty good on armed. Alright, and they lead off with a uh, paw tucket. We'll lead off with an Alamo beer. Go ahead and put out another Alamo beer. And go ahead and do a Bender Brow. Yeah, so this, uh, this person, Deadshot here, already appears to have a much, uh, much better deck. I'll do another Bender Brow. A much better deck than, uh, than the decks we faced in Arms. I'm sorry, getting distracted. Just kind of worrying about, uh, Bender Brow there. How he's gonna hold up. That first one there. Uh, that Yacht Club is strong. And they are getting ahead of us. We don't like that. So, go ahead and drop welcome mojitos. Alright, it's looking a lot better now. Um, there for a second, I was like, are we really gonna lose? Because I'm pretty sure that drunk is my best. Uh, Probably my best category. And I was definitely getting concerned there for a minute. Uh, I'll do that. Knowing while intoxicate, it's a great one. That bomb will at least apply some damage to butterscotch cookies since it's out there open. Let's go ahead and throw a Tom Landry down, and if we make it that far, we'll play a bad team on top there. Oh yeah, there we go, that's good, look at that, look at their defense right now. Well, I mean, Junk Food Klaus just buffed up, but see that it was one health, 
Eight health, seven health, I believe it was. Junk food class doesn't even have a, uh... Yeah, it doesn't even have a... Battleground effect, I guess. And we've got the win now, though. But that was a good battle, though. That one was a little more fun. A little more interactive. <clears throat> and we love the siege. We love uh, the strategy that's, that goes behind it. Um, And we love all the uh, gold turrets that you get from it. I mean, at least I do. Athelstan. <clears throat> Interesting. Go ahead and uh, drop drunk a clam. Time for hard liquor combo. And we'll drop time for hard liquor. And then personalized beer mug. I love all the um, all the motivate that I get from a lot of my drunk cards. There's a lot of motivate, a lot of crazed, a lot of cripple alls, um, or just cripple in general and gas. Like, plus there's some burgers and some bombs. So. It's, uh, you just, they all stack up, too. You just get so much going on on the field at once. I just, I love it. And we, we definitely have this one in the bag now. Uh, you got time for hard liquor up front with 54 attack. And jelly bean schnapps can't hold up. Oh, Bender. You rascally little W. I'll drop Peter since he's a drunk card as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and take out their Peter for the win, though, with the second time for Hard Liquor. <laughs> A little bit of leftover scraps there for the second one. Solid. Alright. Um, hoping we jump up pretty high in rank this time. Uh, we really should not have fallen back this far. I'm not saying we're the best by any means. Um, a lot of our players are free to play or invest very little, um, but we are we are definitely better than a a top 500 team. Mm, we'll lead off with bending school, I guess. We don't have anything drunk except for a single Peter there. We'll go and do Bending School Grab. It's a good card for slot one. Ooh, I hope just like said Peter. That is rough. Um, this is going to be a tough one as well, I can already tell. Um, at least we got rid of Jug Glow Bobby. Uh, right here with the bomb. Oh no, we had, he was... Oh no. <clears throat> that could have been dangerous. I mean, it still is. Oh, this is a tough call here. I feel like... That 20 punch could take it out, so I need to combo it. But then we have 22. Man. Alright, this is ballsy, but we're going to play Viking Peter over here. And leave Sex Ed Peter open. Ooh, and we need... Uh... Do Alamo beer because it'll get the um, battleground effect for a little more defense. 42 is pretty good. 
Uh, it would literally die with me taking no damage if Sex of Peter punched and attacked it, so... That's a good call. Ooh, Eggnog Roger is a solid one. One of my favorite drunk combos. Uh, and they took out Viking Peter. And we lost! Oh my gosh! Oh. Rough. Good work to them. Um, whoever that was that we just faced. That was a good deck. Um, good play there. Seems to be that we can't ever get a full 10 wins. At least not on camera. Uh, we've done it what, once now, I think, but the other times I've gotten like a nine. Uh, go ahead and do Paw Tucket. Um, leading off with Bending School. Uh, did not work for us last time, so. Do Moonshine Roger. And then we'll drop Eggnog Roger right beside him. Oh, we'll do personalized beer mug. I forgot about the baby bender combo. All that gas. Yeah, we don't want to do part of your implant. Baby Bender it is. Uh, I guess we'll throw down another Roger to replace Eggnog Roger. Okay, and there we go. Eggnog Roger again. Alright, we've got this in the bag now. <laughs> okay, we would have had that in the bag had we not made Eggnog Roger. But, that's good. Uh, no more losses. Really bummed out that I did not get the perfect score. I don't think that we would have needed that one singular point or 10 points um, or extra nine points, I guess, if you're following my math in my head. Um, but still, it would have been nice. Uh, we'll lead off with Eggnog Roger. Do jelly bean schnapps. I'm wondering if this apple stand is the one that we faced that we lost to. I'm sure you guys might remember. Uh, personalized beer mug. Powerful yacht club on the outside. That rings the familiar things. This might have been the person we faced. Uh, none of this is a good idea. I mean. None of it's a solid answer for what we're looking for here. Yeah. 
Oh man, all that triple all is rough. We're not able to do anything. We are boned. Looks like we're gonna get another loss. This has gotta be the first one we faced last time. Man. They don't let up. Now we can't attack, so we can't win. another loss for us. Alright, I couldn't even hit their health points. That's a... Uh, man. Highly upsetting. Shout out to Athelstan, though. That was a... Um, solid deck. bums me out when I get just completely dominated, especially um, by a player in a guild that's not even good. Why don't they come join us? They would fare a little better. Hmm. Anyway, we do have some openings, by the way, uh, on op an optic. So, we're actually playing this one, too, at another disadvantage. We have, uh, like, 40... Two players, maybe? I'll check here after we finish these up. Um, oh, didn't mean to drop fry there. I grabbed the wrong person. Maybe bring Tina over the bending seal, but I'm not sure that that's what I want to do anyway. Uh, regardless, it looks like uh, we win. Still rather wide open for the win, so. There we go. Alright, I think we have one more. I lost track. Either way, there's two losses, and that's just depressing. Yep, one more to go. Man. I can't believe we lost two. I really think that they were both the, the same person. I'll stop talking about it now, though. I'll just check uh, when we're finished with the video here. I'll play back and go to the, the battles and find out for myself. This person might be pretty good. Uh, they're leading off with a Mythic Peggy. Quad Rogers Closet. Hmm. Could, could give me a run for my money without even playing drunk cards. We'll see. Yeah, they're not even playing drunk cards. Um, got rid of Mythic Peggy though, so that's a good sign. We'll do I like beer. Alright, no, I think we've got this now. Bad Tina's got too much uh, attack. We should have this in the bag. Little safety precaution there. Go ahead and nerf down some of their attack there with Yacht Club. Seems to be one that's been hurting my deck today. And I know it's one that I used to play a lot. Comboed Yacht Club a lot. Usually laid down two Yacht Clubs. Because again, once you throw down enough Cripple all they can't do anything to attack you. So, uh, we got this one for a win now as well. Yep, that was bad Tina. Taking it home for us. 75 attack to finish it. Card is just insane. No matter what. I don't care if it's the battleground effect or not. So with Sex Ed Peter, honestly. That card, uh. Card messes me up. Okay, anyway, so. Got that island down to 80 out of 100 now. Our attacks are done. Let's go ahead and check back in. I know we went 8 and 2, so we got 82 points. 
But again, we got eight perfect, so shout out to them specifically. Uh, shout out to everybody else in the guild. So looks like we're all doing great. Um, I'm down there tied for 17th because we would have had 16 people do better than me then so far. And we're at 30 uh, plays total out of, I think it was 42. So good participation considering we have 16 and a half hours left. Athelstan only went 8 and 2, but it is their top player. That would make sense for the losses. Um, I believe they probably went to the Futurama Island. Uh, they seem to be having trouble there. We've got a couple of good Futurama decks in there. Uh, so yeah, anyway, they, they have a lot less participation, but they uh, are going to have a hard time coming back from that when we already have two islands down. So, back out of that. Anyway, back to... Uh, Potentials if you were interested in joining Optic. We have 42 members. Yep, I was right. So we have eight openings uh, automatically. And we might have more if people do not participate in Siege, especially if it actually gets close. Um, rules for joining Optic. Uh, we prefer you to be a higher level. As you'll see, a lot of our members, 14, 15, and 16, uh, we do not have very many that are low. Uh, Rad Cosmo is a temporary fill-in, uh, level 7, as you see. So, to really uh, compete with us, you'll probably want to be at least level 12 or 13, minimum. Um, not to be rude, just because you're going to have a hard time um, with the opponents we'll be facing, and you will not meet our 10k rumble score that we we try to go with um if you get in all your plays and you're close you know we might make exceptions um we do want you to get line uh we have group chats on there and we want you to check in-game chat on a regular basis uh, always participate at rumble and siege and if you somehow cannot get a hold of myself another officer or leader red mic uh, that's pretty much it though so if you guys are interested uh, after this is over we're public so go ahead and look up optic and uh, you want a good guild that's got a lot of good people in it. it's fun uh, pretty laid back but competitive check us out anyway now what we have left for you guys sorry to advertise for my guild uh, we don't have enough stones to really do any exciting pulls there yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spend some of the Wonder Wharf coins. Uh, so we're going to do the Super Epic Packs this time. And we've got enough to do seven pulls. So we're going to go ahead and pull those. Pull number one. And we got a whole lot of nothing. Well, I mean, we got some Giggity Watts, I suppose. We'll take the blue Giggity Watts. We like those. I'm actually really low on Giggity Watts right now. Uh, but come on, Legendary. Come on, Mythic. Let's get something good, right? Looking like a whole lot of nothing. Yep, okay. Oops, sorry, we got a pop up there. Um, okay, a lot of nothing again. I believe I already have a quadded expected weapon. I might be using a duel, I'm not sure. Oh, women's self defense. Man. Everybody gets so lucky on these pulls, I feel like, and I am not getting anything. A rifle, how exciting. <laughs> Actually, just uh, recycled a quad rifle the other day. Oh, and a Peggy. How, how does it get any better than that, right? All right, well, it looks like we're getting a whole lot of nothing for you guys, so sorry about that. Boom, Howard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the last one. Yep. Pretty lame. Uh, one day, I'm hoping to get an awesome pull, and I'm 
I'm really hopeful it's going to be on camera for you guys. I feel like I do a lot of polls for you guys, and they're never anything exciting or cool. So, uh, might as well just go ahead and use this last uh, thousand here and do a hero token poll. Next video will be all hero token polls. So, got our Stewie up just above halfway through nine. Um, let's see in any future rumble or token polls if we will potentially get. A new level 10 character? Dale's a very possible one. Roger's very possible. T we might get a level 9 Tina. Maybe. One day. Uh, Fry. Obviously very possible. And that's about it there. And we got our special characters. Now look at that. Zap is almost level 8. It gets exciting there. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed watching me fight uh, my siege battles. Enjoyed watching the Wonder Wolf pulls, uh, even though there wasn't much to them. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what rank you're at. Uh, how you guys are doing so far. Uh, anyway. Real quick, I'm going to check the participation. Sorry about that. I... Okay, yep, yeah, 30. 30 out of 42. I'm assuming they had 50, I believe. 50 members. From what I remember their islands looking like. So they haven't even quite had 40% participation yet. Um, so th they could come back, maybe. Uh, you know, they've got... Uh, what, you need uh, 64 plays to take down those two islands. And then the next lowest one for them would be 84. So it's possible. Um, looks like someone else is attacking drunk right now. They dropped it down a couple more points. That's good. I hope that uh, the fact that those drunk decks are a little tougher doesn't hold up any of my remaining players. Uh, I know there's at least two more people um, minimum that will play that should be getting a perfect... Um, Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Um, that's all. I gotta get off of here, um, jump online, redirect, uh, make sure that they know the plan. So when anybody jumps online, <laughs> jumps online, as in jumps on the game, they'll know the plan. All right, anyway, as always, keep it real, and uh, we'll see you soon. Probably got uh, some arena fights coming up soon. Um, maybe a Nixon coin pull. Uh, I'm not sure what else. So, uh, catch you guys later.